Well, my name is Risha. I'm here at FCAHM and I am the curator here at the museum. So I have this collection item, which is a mink coat, actual fur, actual mink from about the 40s or 50s kind of era. And this was in our bridge window. So that's our window that we have upstairs that has uh, covers on the front so that we don't get a lot of light damage on our items. Um, but we still want to put it away, give it a rest from the light. And so I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about it. Well, you'll hear me talking and I'll show you kind of how we put it away in our collection three. So let's jump on it. As we look at this several shades of brown striped mink coat, I'm going to talk about an article that was in the New York Times. It's called, Is This the End of the Mink Coat? It was published in 2020 and updated in 2021. It was written by Alden Wicker. And it's a really interesting article. I'd encourage you to go read it if you're interested in mink coats or uh, kind of the fur industry at this time in the world. He talks about how Macy's and Bloomingdale's are currently selling off the last of their coats so that they can close their fur salons. And California has passed a ban on the sale of new fur products, and it's effective in 2023. And the, several, several brands that are commonly known as luxury, like Burberry or Chanel or Coach, uh, they are banning fur, uh, selling fur at their places. And it... The article doesn't go into any kind of animal rights. I mean, it touches on it because it is a, a deal that goes with the talking about mink fur and fur coats and that kind of uh, area. But it doesn't go heavy handed in one way or the other, whether or not you would like to wear actual fur, though he does mention that unlike rabbit or leather, mink fur is not a byproduct of food production, nor does it support an indigenous economy. So minks also are carnivores, so their feed carries a heavy environmental footprint, according to a life cycle analysis commissioned by two European animal rights groups. Um, I should have quoted that, but that was a quote. I should have said that earlier. That was a quote from the article. So he does touch on that a little bit, uh, but mink is this coat here we have in our collections from Freeborn County. It was something that was popular. Uh, this is likely one from about the 40s, 50s, and uh, I challenge you if, if you're listening close here, you're looking at a mink coat. What Elizabeth Taylor movie do you think of when you think of Elizabeth Taylor and a mink coat? If you know the movie, go ahead and type it in the comments for me because I'd like to know if that's a commonly known movie. But look at this this coat. It's in fairly decent condition here. It's got a button at the top that clasps and then it's got a little hook and eye clasp at the center. So it doesn't connect all the way down. It's only got two parts of it that really connect it together. That collar stands up there, which probably would be really warm. And it's lined with some rayon satin. And the label is actually from Skinner's. So Skinner's and Chamberlain was a, a store here. It was a really great big department store in Albert Lee. And I'm sure many people still remember it and really liked that store. Yeah. But thanks for listening and looking at this mink coat with me.